me and Neil Young and all the other people who spoke out against these concerts are not on the crazy train. We're trying to like save human lives. Imagine if they told you right before the concert you were going to go into that 5 to 15% of you were going to be sprayed with a biological weapon that could kill you. A certain percentage would live, a certain percentage would die. Were you down with disease enough to go into this concert or not? Like, would you go in? Who would go in? That's what you did if you went to see a fish show or a Grateful Dead show or Dead and Company or whatever they're calling themselves. Dave Matthews Band. I think they also mentioned Green Day in the article. So I guess Green Day really are American idiots. So, I am going to call this year's 2021 fish tour the official Down With Disease tour. Apparently, I'm not the only one who's crazy because I thought that Fish should have canceled their tour this year. Apparently, Neil Young agrees. Apparently, while I was going train crazy trying to convince Fish to cancel their tour, Neil Young was riding his crazy horse off the cliff of the edge of the flat earth with me. We're both train crazy kids, people. Somebody gave me this. I just started laughing so hard because it was right after I recorded my video singing back on the train. And by the way, people, I know that that song that I was singing is not called Back on the Train. And I also know its real name. It's really called Home on the Train. And I also know how the lyrics really go. I was making a joke. Did you know that Rolling Stone magazine published an article criticizing Fish? But in this one, they did not say that Fish was pissing in the ears of their fans and their fans were happily lapping it up. In this one, they interviewed Neil Young, who criticized bands who had not canceled their concerts, including Dead and Company, Fish, Dave Matthews Band, and, ironically, the Rolling Stones. He said their concerts were going to be super spreader events. And he said that the record companies and the concert promoters and the venues should cancel their concerts. And all they had to do to stop people from dying of COVID-19 was just forget about making money for a while because they already have enough of it. He hasn't played a concert since 2019 and is apparently as enraged as I am that bands like Fish, The Dead, Dave Matthews Band, and The Rolling Stones are going on tour. So he decided to do an interview with Rolling Stone, calling those bands concerts super spreader events. So we're both trained crazy, okay? Or maybe we're both right. So the article in Rolling Stone is called Neil Young on Concerts in the COVID Age. These are super spreader events. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. On the very same day, August 27th, 2021, Jambase also published an article. Their article was called Fish Summer Tour 2021 First Leg fan survey results and in their article they said that five percent of fish fans who went to at least one show tested positive for COVID-19 later they also said something about out of 15 percent of people 11 percent were unvaccinated and four percent were not but I wasn't sure if the 15 percent they were talking about was like 15 percent of the five percent or if that was like 15% of people who went to like one or more shows. Regardless, apparently between five and 15% of people who went to 
some amount of fishes shows the later tested positive for COVID. And their whole article was written like completely in fish lyrics. I should get a job as a reporter for Jam Base. I can also do that. In case you haven't seen my last few videos criticizing fish. And I would also have put that information about 5% of people who went to one or more concert getting COVID like at the top of the article, not buried in the middle of 10 paragraphs of Fish's lyrics joined together to make sentences to write a news article. By the way, I think that would be like important information for their fans to know. So in my opinion, me and Neil Young and all the other people who spoke out against these concerts are not on the crazy train. We're trying to like save human lives. Imagine if they told you right before the concert you were going to go into that 5 to 15% of you were going to be sprayed with a biological weapon that could kill you. A certain percentage would live, a certain percentage would die. Were you down with disease enough to go into this concert or not? Like, would you go in? Who would go in? That's what you did if you went to see a fish show or a Grateful Dead show or Dead and Company or whatever they're calling themselves. Dave Matthews Band. I think they also mentioned Green Day in the article. So I guess Green Day really are American idiots. So I'm going to call this year's 2021 fish tour, the official down with disease tour. Because apparently y'all are. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to end this video. I tried. I tried to save people. They didn't listen. Neil Young tried to save people. They didn't listen. Apparently, the bands, record companies, and concert promoters only care about money, and the fans only care about getting to enjoy a concert, and nobody cares if people die.